shall be your best month. Amen. Take this announcement. It has come to our notice. Many people joining offering drop empty envelope. Thou shall not do that again. Please let it be put in the on Wednesday also. Don't, if you, if you are yet to have to give to the law, nobody force anybody to give here. This is winners. You give is for your blessing. You don't, nobody will arrest you. Has anybody come to charge you that you didn't give offering? No. But it is wrong for you to lift up empty envelope before God and drop it. Almost 50 empty envelopes. That is not good in the house of the Lord. And this is the first time it's happening. I've never had it anywhere. Please, stop that. You see, what we are teaching you here is raw scripture. Raw what? Raw word of God. God cannot be deceived. No. If you don't have, Lord, next time I come here, I want to be a giver. I want to give to be blessed. Finish. God will hear you. But you don't even bother. You package empty envelope and you took envelope and you drop it empty. Your life shall not be empty. I say your life will not remain empty. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Shout hallelujah. I'd like you to rise to your feet this morning. Lord, visit me. Every time God visits, he changes a person. In the month of June, Angel Gabriel was sent to Mary. And Mary said, I have become a generational blessing. All generations shall call me blessed. Abba, Lord, today, send your word to visit me. Visit my life by your word. In the name of Jesus, try lift up your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit me by your word to this morning. Le koto predikata, nendu lioko tu kozuso so prediliyaka. Lord, visit me by your word this morning. Visit me by your word, O oh Lord. Visit me, visit me according to your word to change my level. Visit me to change my work, to change my level, to change my focus. Le prodikata pali. Le pandigo to predigeze, ezuzo zo preteke li kataba, men konto predege liya. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. In the name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. I will enter his gate with us given in my heart. Quiet. I will enter his courts with praise. Come on, rejoice now. I will, I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. Come on now. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter his gate with a demon in my heart. I will enter his gate with I was afraid. 
Oh Lord, revive thy works in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In rot, remember mercy. He said, God came from Tema. Put it on the screen, Habakkuk chapter 3. God came from Tema, the Holy One from Mount Param. Look at what the Bible says, Habakkuk chapter 3. He said, God came from Teman and the Holy One from Mount Param. His glory covered the heaven. Ah, your shame will not spread this year. And the earth was full of his praise. Your own life shall be full of God's praise. It doesn't matter how you spend January, February, till May. But this month, there shall be a turnaround for someone. If you are among the people, let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. Give Jesus a big hand as we get seated. Shout hallelujah. The theme of the man I am redeemed to operate in the supernatural. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18. I and the children whom the Lord has given me, we are for sign and for wonders. And our teaching series, Vita Keys to Unlocking the Supernatural. Vita Keys to Unlocking the Supernatural. In Psalm 82, verse 5 to 7. He said, They knew not, neither would they understand. They walk on in darkness. Darkness means, darkness means ignorance. They walk in darkness. There is a key to dominion, sir. There is a key to living a supernatural life. Now, supernatural is something beyond explanation. Something beyond physical. Something, something inexplainable. Inexplainable breakthrough. Glory to God. That you start a business and within six months, you, are, you don't know prank, no for one night within six months, you are counting 10 million. That's supernatural. It will happen to you. Amen. By strange divine idea, it will begin to happen to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The key of revelation is the key to unlock the forces. The key of revelation is what puts you permanently in charge. The key of revelation, it turns frustration to fulfillment in life. It's able to turn your sweat to sweet. It can turn your trial to testimonies. When it is revealed to you, I tell you, your obstacle will be turned to miracles. You know what the Bible says in, in, in Romans chapter 8, verse 19? It says, for the honest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. He said, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and traveleth in pain until now. They are waiting for your manifestation, sir. The whole creation groaneth. Ah, they travel together, they travel in pain together until now. Waiting for your manifestation. Listen to me. It's revelation that makes you manifest. You never manifest than what is revealed to you. Bishop Abiyo says, what God shows you is what shows you to your word. Glory to God. What God shows you is what shows you to your word. Every born again believer is a child of God. Listen to me. You are born of the spirit. You are born of the spirit. But you have to understand that you are born of the spirit. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Therefore my people are going to captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished. They are multitude dry up with thirst. Listen, every beggarly act is as a result of ignorance. Every disease attacking you is because you have not known the revelation that trash away sickness from, love, from, from one's life. Glory to God. I said glory to God. What are the keys that put you in command of supernatural? What are those keys? Number one, approving new birth experience. Approving new birth experience. 
are proving new bad experience. The wind blew away it listed. And you, you hear the sound there of John 3, 8. But can not tell whence it came and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. You can't be handled. You can't be challenged. You can't be molested by forces of life anymore. You, you operate in the realm, in, in the realm of unhandleable. Un, 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 you can predict all things, but nobody can predict you. Glory to God. Number two, it is your unshakable faith in God. Your unwavering faith in his word. People that have gone ahead of us, they subdue kingdoms. Uh -uh. They wrought righteousness. They obtain promises. You will obtain promise this month. They stop the mouth of lion, quench the violence of fire. Why? Because of their root. They are spirit. Because of their root, they are spirit. You must have unshakable faith in God. Listen. Your faith is what releases your authority. Your faith is what releases your authority and determines your supernaturality. If your faith lacks evidence, it is fake. If your faith lacks proof, it is fake. It has no root. Therefore, cannot bear fruit. Believe you me, your faith will have proof this month. Uh, your faith will give you testimony this month. Yeah. Oh, you are not re responding. I say your faith will give you proof. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Why am I saying this? If your faith is not genuine, it can't be a fruit. And we said last month, faith fit on the word. I said in second service, it is only in your spirit that the word of God can become fruitful. Where? It is only in your spirit that the word of God can become fruitful, not in your head. When storm of life rises, when you are challenged, it is what is in your spirit that can respond to the challenge you are facing. That's why you see many Christians compromise. That's why you see many Christians crash. When there is a storm, what you have in your head will jump out. It will fly out. But what is in your spirit will speak out and put to where you belong. It define your status in the word of spirit. Listen to me. Title does not define your status. Resident pastor does not define your position. It is the word that is in your spirit that becomes fruitful to define who you are. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Number three, an undying commitment to serving God and the interest of his kingdom as a lifestyle. Like God's servant said yesterday, the apostle about this commission, you are not being forced. You are not being coerced. No, it's a willful service. Just delight some service to your God. Serving God with delight. You don't need any encouragement to come to church. There are people that it is, people just encourage and pray and pray before they can stand up and Sluggishly they carry Bible. No, you are not big, you just enjoy serving your God. That grace has come upon you now. Yeah. In the holy name of Jesus the Christ. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. What are these vital keys to unlock the supernatural? Number one, your commitment to spiritual growth and development. Every believer 
is a child of God. And because God is a spirit, you belong to the realm and the class of God. So, spiritual development is a vital requirement for commanding the supernatural. God said, let us create man. Genesis chapter 1, 26 to 28. Let us make man in our image. That is, let us make man in the spirit that we are, in the form that we are. Let us make them after our likeness, functional spirit, in authority, in control of life, in charge of destiny, in command of situation, having dominion over life issues. Glory to God. But you see, what you see of your physical body is not the real you. No. It is only a covering. The real you is spirit. And by the law of life, like beget like. God give back to goat. Donkey give back to donkey. Man give back to man. What should God give back to? God. I pray for someone in this service. From now on, you begin to reign in life. From this service, you'll be free from every shackle of poverty. You'll be free from disease and sicknesses. You'll be free from torment of evil dream. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said to someone here, welcome to the life of unmolestable living. Life of unchallengeable living. Undefeatable realm of life. In the name of Jesus the Christ. He said, you are a God. But if you don't know not, I have given a verdict and I said, and whatever God says, come to pass. Whatever God says, come to pass. He said, I have said, ye are God. He told Moses so. He repeated in Psalm 82. Verse 6, I said, ye are God. But because you don't know, you walk the way they walk. You are sitting the way they see things. You struggle the way they struggle. I have not made you that way. But it's your mentality that determines that. But today your mentality shall change. In the name of Jesus Christ. We build our spirituality through the word. We build our spirituality through the word. You grow by the word. We build our spirituality through Prayer and fasting and other spiritual exercises. Paul said, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give inheritance among all them which are sanctified. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Just as physical food makes you develop, Spiritual food makes your spirit develop. You develop by the word of the law. By every word that proceeded, every day proceeded, proceeds in our modern English, out of the mouth of God. We live by the word. I am what the word says that I am. Oh, oh. I am what the world says that I, I am what the world says I am. The world says I live by the river. Yes, I cannot wither. Every season I brought out my fruit. The world says I'm unconquerable. That's who I am. Living by the word. You grow by the word. You feed your spirituality by the word. The word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord, the written word of God. If you are not feeding on the word, you never grow in authority. You never grow in commandment. You may grow in title, bishop, archbishop, reverend, but you never grow in authority. That will never be you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. Number two, commitment to engaging biblical mentality. As a man thinks, so he is. How do you see? God told Moses, see, I have made you a God. You are a God on earth. You are a God over sickness and they don't have right to pummel your body. See, you are a God. 
I tell myself, Jesus cannot be diagnosed for any case. No. The disciples were never sick. They were here for 40 years in the wilderness. Nobody was feeble. Supernaturality. Listen to me. Don't say because Jesus came, God has been manifesting himself. And this man will show himself in your life. For 40 years in the wilderness, he was in their midst. Now hear this. The cloth on them never worn out. You can't wear a cloth for, 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 for you can't wear a shirt for five years, no matter how strong. Uh, but they were in the wilderness, sir. The cloth on them were never worn out. Are you hearing me? Their shoe were never worn out. The anointing on them never turned sour. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. They saw themselves as a God. No beast dear them. God himself was in the army, a pillar of cloud by the day and a pillar of fire by the night. How much more the New Testament ministration? Glory to God, someone. See yourself as a success in your family. Where? Somebody said, my family is poor, you don't know. See yourself as a solution bearer in that family. Glory to God. See yourself as a success career after the order of Jesus Christ. But listen to me. It is your mentality that defines your success. It's your mentality that defines your victory in art. Your mentality, your, your thinking define your dominion. Galatians chapter 4, beginning from verse 1. Galatians chapter 4. Look at what the Bible says. Now I say that the heir, as long as is a child, differing nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. Verse 2. But is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. Verse 3. Even so, you and I, when we were children, were in bondage under element of the world. Did you see? Under the element of the world. Throw to and fro by confusion, by, 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 by economic start. I mean, I'm, I'm start of the nation. We were under the element of the world. Glory to God. Verse 4 now. But when the fullness of the time was come, when you begin to see the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Look at verse 5. Ha. To redeem them that were under what? Under the law. That we might receive the adoption of sons. Man. When you are born again, your supernaturality is born in your life. Listen. If you are a child, even though you are a prince, as long as you are feeding, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are feeding milk at two years, nobody will trust you. Hello? You cannot sign a check of millions at two years. Two of us. No. Nani will wear pants for you. The house will wash you. If your parents are not there, they will slap your bum bum when you poop anyhow. You will cry in his hand. Paul said, that's how we are. Under the element of the word. Ah. God said, I've made you a God. But they know it not. So they walk on in darkness, in ignorance. When rain comes, they say, this sickness is for the rain. Everybody catching cold, you are catching with them. Everybody begging, you are begging with them. Everybody borrowing, loan, you are collecting loan. I've never collected loan for Kai in this commission. Never. They gave pastors, but God bring me out. I didn't see myself collecting a car loan and then the money you are removing, my transport fee every month is going. I didn't see that way. I ever see it as even opportunity. What a mentality. Glory to God. You see, we are breaking the curse of law today. If you don't, you see, if you, what you don't see will keep you in perpetual bondage. It will keep you in darkness. You are a spirit. My pastor said, first of all, you are a spirit, but you just carry this body. I'd like you to see yourself as somebody from my bar with solution for athlete uh, uh, dominion. 
you are just living the body, a covering. He that is from above is above all. You are not meant to suffer what ordinary men suffer. That's why you must have a proven uh, sonship, a proven salvation. Not guess what? Well, I've been coming to this church for the past 30 years. No, 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 no. If you are not born again, you are not born again. And if you are not born again, you cannot be born of the spirit. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's only a baby that cry around the house. Hello? It's only a baby. The baby are permitted to run around and dirty their clothes. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Now, if you see one of our pastors, God forbid, early in the morning and just running around with suit, uh, doing like a baby, just running around and laughing. When you look through the time and you see laughing, you, know, you say, bless you, sir. You say, bless you again, sir. Uh, when you see doing like that, I say, my case is different. I see, see laughing, running around, you, you all call the wife. That the day here, oh, I don't know. Because that is not natural. But if you see a child jumping up and down, you won't even bother. Will you bother? No. What you see, Pastor Make some running around, fighting, you won't bother. That's, that's a child. Paul said, When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. Ah, but when I became adult, I lived the child this thing. Man, you feed on the world to change your mentality. Moses harassed Pharaoh. Pharaoh from the day God, Moses saw himself as what God said, that I'm a God. Abba, he became a God to Pharaoh. Pharaoh said, if you see my face, you will die. He said, no lie. He said, you will die. And the following day, he came again. Pharaoh! Ah, the soldier said, it's Moses again. The, the gate man said, oh God said, I said, you see, I will clear you and your gate. <laughs> he opened the gate. He said, Pharaoh, I'm seeing your face again. God said, if you don't let my people go, I will kill your first son. Mr. President couldn't do anything. Sir, see yourself as a God. You can't be a God and be borrowing. You can't be a God and be wallowing in poverty. No. You can't be a God and be buffeted. I'd like you to be provoking your spirit. Why am I in this condition for long? No. No. Why is this attack of sickness every time? No. When you realize your status as a God, you begin to change level. And when you, you can't see it until you see it in the image of what God made you, we behold as in the, as in the mirror who we are. The mirror is the word of God. The mirror is the word of the Lord. We behold who we are. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say my case is different this year. Say, surely my case is different this year. You see, your, 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 your biblical mentality. The last key before we go this morning is commitment to serving God and the interests of his kingdom. Daniel served God and you saw his status change. Commitment to serving God and his kingdom. Remember the three Hebrew children. Then, Daniel chapter 3, verse, 20, 20, verse 26. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery fire and spoke and said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, uh, uh, look at, ye servant of the Most High. I like this. Servant of the Most High God. Come forth and come hither. Then they came out of the fire. And the princes, say princes, and governors, say governors, and captains, the king's counselor, being gathered together, saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power. You can't burn God. No. The fire had no power over their body. Nor was the hair of their hair sign. Neither were their coat changed. Nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Abba. You will never feel effect of this downward economy again. I say you won't suffer the effect of the recession again. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Somebody say, I pray for miracle job I didn't get. You, you are a God. God can make you to create a job. Are you listening to me? God can put you to create a job. He can give you idea of a God to start on your own. Don't look down on yourself. You are a spirit being. 
to change the event of the earth. Today, by the power of God coming upon you, every curse that is holding your destiny in bondage will be totally shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Breaking generational curse. The Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us on the cross. For it is written, curse is every man that hung on a tree. Galatians 3, 13 to 14. That the blessing of Abraham may come upon the Gentiles. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Glory to God. Verse 14. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hallelujah. So, the curse is curseless on your life. Why? Jesus took your place on the cross. Jesus did what? He took your place. All the curses were heaped on the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. When they come to the curse of the Lord, you are free eternally if you are born again. But if you don't have proven proof that you are saved, my brother, my sister, when the altar call came, when we come now, jump out. Don't mess your life. Enough of attack of enemy on your life. He's taking advantage of your ignorance. Glory to God. Every other curse must be broken. Are you hearing me? If you are under the curse of law of seed time and harvest, you don't sow, you can't reap. Today it shall be broken. If you are under the curse, Paul said in Ephesians chapter 6, verse, verse 1 to 3, he said, children, obey your father. He said, children, obey your parent in the law, for this is right. Verse 2. Honor thy father and mother. If in the curse of not honoring your father and mother, he said, in the as in first commandment, with a promise. What's the promise? Verse 3. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Can you see? That, that you may live long on the earth. Every curse that you have broken ignorance, I mean, that you have defied, and is working against you today, they, they are declared them broken for you. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. When a man is under curse, the curse will allow you to work hard. It won't allow you to gather harvest. 